Ash, back again with another of my tutorial videos for Final Cut Pro 10. Um, in this one, I'm going to be showing you how to organize the files in the Final Cut Pro 10. Um, if you're just starting out, it can be quite confusing with the fact that, that um, you can actually um, inadvertently not do it, you know, knowingly, but you can group all of your files into one library and all of a sudden you'll go into the finder and you'll find out that this one thing is eating up like literally half your drive. Um, my mistake was the same thing I just mentioned before is that I actually had 400 gigabytes in one library and I didn't even know what was going on or how this was happening. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you an easy and simplified method of organizing your files. Um, so let's open Final Cut Pro 10. And what you notice here on the left hand side is the library. Now you can see how I have my how to stuff going on. But what you can do is you can create subfolders within these things. So what you do is you go to new and you go to new library. What that will do is that'll open up a whole new library and you can actually um, store this wherever you want. Now I have this stored on my Mac external, but you can, the, the default folder for these things is in the movies folder right here. But I'm gonna do it on my Mac external because it eats up a lot of my drive. So we'll call this tutorial. Now we'll just save it right there in Mac external. Now that comes up tutorial. Now you can see the library right here. Now what a library is, is that basically it's a conglomeration of all of your files in that one particular area. Now what I like to do is I'm OCD so I have to organize my files so they're not all spread out everywhere. So example is here's my how to library. Now in the library, when you create a new library, it'll pop up right here in Smart Collections. And what that is, is it'll actually be a collection of all the products that you have so far, um, all the videos too. So my Smart Collection folder has my RC here, my After Run, and the other videos that I'm kind of working on. Now once you have done that to that open up that new library, you can actually, it'll create an event, which is right here, which you can actually rename if you'd like to by just single clicking on it, and you can name it, you know, whatever you want. So I'm going to put other for here right now. And then also what you can do now, there's actually a couple ways you can do this. You can right click on here and then click new project, or you can go command N while you're selecting that file. And then I'll open up a new project right there and make sure you save it in the other uh, library that I made. So whatever I, library you just named it, you can save it right there inside the library. Now, also, to show you another thing, is you can click on the tutorial, right-click on it, and you can go New Event. Now, when you do this, you can either click this box right here, which will create a whole new project. Um, but for the, the sake of what we're doing now, I'm not going to do that. I just want to show you how to do that. So when you do Tutorial the, here, you can import your media into there. And what I like to do also select, I like to organize my things. So in this how to in here, I created two events. Now in these two events, I have my sway bar video, which has all of my files in that one particular area right there. And in my pre post run procedures video, I have all these photos in that one. So what you need to do to minimize this. So say you do a video that you've done perfectly and you don't want to ever mess with it again. And you put it on YouTube, you could actually just Go up here to tutorial. You can come down here and you can close the library just like that. Now, not, but that won't erase it. So you go into Finder here. And like I said, I put it in my Mac external over here. All of a sudden, it'll say tutorial here. Now you can either erase this to trash or you can just move it over here to the trash. It's like that. And now it's trashed. That way, you're not eating up a lot of your megabyte space. So, anyway, um, that's my tutorial video. It's pretty simple. Um, and I'm on a dash. Please subscribe to my channel and like some of my videos and check out my other videos as well. Um, I did this missing kid video for this op Operation OR Found Safe. It's a Facebook organization that helps find missing kids. So um, check out the other stuff too. Um, so on a dash out. If you'd like to leave any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the section down below. Also, if you'd like to see more of my videos, please hit that subscribe button. Also, I greatly appreciate it if you do watch my videos, please hit that like button as well. If you'd like to contact me, I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.